All right, let's take a look at the chart action for Dogecoin. All right, so in my last video, I was talking about how we were in this downtrend and I was looking for us to either break this trend line going up or I was gonna be ready to buy all these orange levels. So we actually did break this trend line right here and now we are kind of doing something like this. I'm wondering if we're holding support right now. We'll kind of wait and see right here, I guess. But what I kind of am seeing is that it's like a triangle pattern, something like this. I have a feeling it's gonna bounce up like this and possibly break through. It is possible we break down right here and start heading down again though. So what I did think was bullish is that we broke this trend line right here. So I put in one position right here and then it went up I put in another position and then as it's coming down I kind of thought it looked like an inverse head and shoulders possible uh, like reversal as we're coming down so um, I'm just kind of curious if we could break this neckline right here going up that might be a pretty good trade right there so I kind of not doubled kind of doubled down I guess you can see my orders right here. So yeah, we'll see. And then so if we break this trend line right here, I'll probably throw in another order or something like that. I am wondering if there'll be resistance right here from this trend line that I got going on. If we look up here, there's this resistance right here and then this resistance right here. And that forms a trend line going down like that. So it's possible that if we come up that we hit this one first and maybe have to retest and then go back up. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see uh, what happens right here. If we could even hold this support right now. All right, so let's take a look at the moving averages. All right, so we're on the one hour time frame right now. And this one actually looks pretty decent to go off of because like right here we broke up above it. And ever since then, it was bouncing off of it. And then right here it started kind of testing it and as it broke through then you would know uh, then you would have been pretty good and then right here we're breaking through we're finding support right now the question is can we keep finding support on this moving average or are we going to break down if we go to the four hour time frame this one's probably stronger uh and we broke through right here and we're testing it we just tested it and we got rejected so we're right, right now it seems like we're in some sort of maybe pattern like this where we have support down there and then we have like resistance right there so check this out though guys the the daily nine moving average is like way down here and the 180 is even farther down so I'm not really sure what that means, but it it's potentially means that it, I mean, that we could see a big drop down to these levels. I mean, it's, this is at like dot 14 right here. All right. So I'm curious whether this daily moving average is going to come up and we're going to bounce on it and continue heading up or if we're going to break through it. No, I don't know. All right, so what I'm watching right now is this triangle pattern right here. And if we break up, I'm adding more. And if we break down right here with some volume, I might take profits and see if we go further down. It's possible, like I said, we get rejected right here. So this might be another take profits area to go down and then buy back and then retest and come back up. It just depends if we could hold this trend line and start moving back up or if we fall through and start heading back down all right if you guys like the video hit that thumbs up button